Hello everybody, this is Grim Gary. It's been a while since I've done a vlog. This isn't a face vlog, it is an unusual vlog of me going down memory lane uh, from a few years back. This is, uh, what you're looking at is Neverwinter Nights 2. Uh, and this specifically is a world I created and scripted uh, in Neverwinter Nights 2 called Grimm's Tavern 2, which was the uh, predecessor. It is the second Grimm's Tavern <laughs> that existed. <laughs> Following the first, uh, both were very popular worlds back in the day. Probably not the most popular, but they were quite popular and uh, drew a lot of people into uh, our Neverwinter Nights 2 community. Uh, the second one only lasted a short time for me because of the frustrations with Neverwinter Nights 2 and multiplayer. The world you're looking at is almost a gigabyte in size, and back in that time, it was very hard to come by 64-bit uh, servers uh, as a mainstream. Not everybody had 64-bit operating systems on hand. Uh, in fact, this was run on a 2003 server, and it was run by some guys in the Netherlands who were very nice, who had enjoyed the first Grimm's Tavern. And it was a lot of fun. It was basically about a world that this man created, Rufio Grimm. He he and his wife settled down in there, had a child um, named Falwyn. And eventually Fal uh, Rufio and his wife Helena disappeared. And only his daughter Falwyn re remained, and she became a nature spirit. And these factions on this small little floating world out in the middle of the dimensional abyss began to fight over this land, and Falwyn kind of sat on the side and waited till everybody was finished killing each other. <laughs> Unfortunately, we never got to the faction system, but uh, I did script in treasure and monsters and stuff like that for spawning. Uh, basically, it was a persistent world, and it was, it was a lot of fun, but it was very frustrating to work with, because um, everybody had to download this... Uh, couple hundred meg file just to play on our world. And that was the annoying thing about Neverwinter Nights 2s. Uh, unlike Neverwinter Nights 1, where you could just hop in and play on somebody's world. And that was it. Neverwinter Nights 2, since there was so much custom map stuff going on, it was very frustrating. I hope they do another one. Uh, I know Neverwinter Night, or Neverwinter, the game Neverwinter is coming out, which is a co-op version of the fourth edition of D&D. So I'm going to be playing that. Uh, and hopefully I can find some people out there who are going to play Neverwinter as well. I'm going to be creating some adventures and whatnot and see what it's all about. Not much not much information has been released about it. It is MineCon this weekend. Uh, I'm hoping everybody out there in Las Vegas is having a great time. I'm pretty jealous, but, uh, you know, that's, that's the breaks. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. Uh, life kind of, you know, just does that to you. But I'm going to be home doing some more videos for everybody, so I hope that's uh, a blessing. Uh, which means also the release of Minecraft. Kind of a... <laughs> I'm waiting to see what they do for the release. I know I had just released a small little opinion uh, vlog about um, my opinions about Minecraft, which people either liked or didn't like. I don't really care, but that's how I feel about the uh, release of Minecraft. More to, better time could have spent uh, being more focused on specific items rather than trying to do a whole bunch of little things and not finishing them. That was the point of my little vlog there. I wasn't hating on Mojang. I love those guys. Um, and I love Minecraft, so don't think I'm hating everything. <laughs> no. uh, I love Minecraft. It's the game I've been playing the longest aside from this Neverwinter Nights and Neverwinter Nights 2. So I'm just uh I was asking in my one of my latest videos for Minecraft, where are you guys? Uh my viewership seems to be down, so uh not many people are commenting. Um I know everybody out of almost eight thousand people can't be getting ready for Minecon and Thanksgiving. So I'm just I'm just curious to see how you guys doing. Say hello if you're still out there and paying attention. Help spread the word if you can. So what can change that'll make people watch again? Uh, I'm curious to know what you guys think about that. Also, um, I've been thinking about adding a donate button. I'm not gonna rub it in your face or anything. It's just gonna, I'm just gonna put it up in the corner if you want to donate. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. You know, I'm not gonna keep saying, please donate. Do this right now. 
You must donate. Now, you'll just see a button up there. If you want to donate, donate. Let's move on to what's in the works for videos. Got the third shift, which I'm there's lots of uh, that coming up. Um, I'm not going to do so much what I did before with, you know, the Dr. Professor, but I think what we're missing is disaster and evil um, in my series. And I think that's what attracted a lot of you in the first place, because it was quite funny at the beginning to just be, like, goofing around with all the little things in the Ogrox and stuff like that. So I'd like to see a lot of that. And I know probably a lot of you would like to see me get a little bit goofy again. I mean, kind of serious. I don't know. <laughs> So that, that'll have to change. Uh, me and Joe are going to be recording some more G&Joe, continu continuing our adventures into the end. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do any more Devil's Run, because nobody really seemed to care about it. Um, if you guys still want to see it, I'll record it. Uh, but it just seemed to be kind of a response to it. I'm not going to do something that's just going to go, uh, we, don't, we don't know what this is. You know, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. We've got red versus blue farming coming up. Uh, me and Dan are going to be filming that this week. In fact, I think uh, this vlog is going to be tonight. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see. Uh, you can download the map for that one. Unfortunately, with Devil Island Survival, we never made a copy of the map. We just kind of said, okay, we made this map. Let's start filming. We're going for it. And we didn't anticipate people actually wanted the map. In fact, it only took us five minutes to make it, so we we're just like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> However, with Double Island Survival, we're not continuing this series. And that brings us to Manhunt. Manhunt is coming soon. More Manhunts. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, a, a a modder named DEA Boy has been modding a um a server plugin for Manhunt specifically, and we've been testing out, me and Wolf have been testing out with the uh, testing it out with him, uh, and it's been going pretty good. Um, just needs a few more features. The official first map is finished, uh, so we're almost ready to really uh, just dig in and, and film some more Manhunts, because those are really fun. And then we'll, I guess we'll just get the mod and map out to you guys as well. Uh, and you can do your own hand hunts, and I'm interested in see. I'm interested in seeing people do their manhunt videos because that'll be that'll be hilarious. <laughs> Mad science. Let's talk about Mad Science. It's going un undergoing a major overhaul. I know a lot of people have been asking about that uh, through my comments and through IMs. The project is not dead. Let's get that straight so far, but it will be better. Um, I just felt that it uh, lacked a certain quality that I needed. Uh, from that series, and I want to improve it, so I'm doing something a little bit different. Let's just say that. It is very hard to coordinate uh, for people uh, and their schedules, especially with everything going on, whether it's school, mine gone, or just regular life schedules, you know? So that's uh, that's the problem with math science. <laughs> but I'm figuring out uh, a way to improve it and not so much rely on people's schedules all the time, so... I'm going to get through that, uh, and you will see him at Science soon. The the Minecraft Subscription Olympics, that's going to be the official name of the sports show, is coming very soon since we have Minecraft release uh, coming out now. Uh, Sign-up info will be available soon. People will be chosen at random. People who ask in the comments or by PM will not be entered into it, so you're going to you're gonna have to go sign up in the proper place, which will be on my website. If you've been watching the third chip, you'll see where my website is. It's not finished, but it will be finished soon. Skyrim, going to be doing more videos. <laughs> Whether you like them or not. Whether you like the audio or not. The audio is what I have, you know? Other than that, what sort of shows would you like to, guys, uh, like to see? I already have a lot of shows going here, a lot of series. So I'd like to know, I'd like to hear your input on what you would like to see out of my channel, what you'd like me to do. Alright, it's been a while since I've done any mail, so let's get to it. Uh, the first one is from 500 Miles Productions. You are an awesome drawer, and I hope that you can make me a drawing. Bye, hope you have a nice day. Thank you for wishing me a nice day as well. <laughs> I always need a good nice day. Um, thank you. Just pretty much thank you. I don't know if I can make you a drawing, but uh, most of the stuff I do is professional and it takes time. Uh, so. 
if you want to pay for a drawing, you can do that. Otherwise, I will be, I will actually be doing more Let's Draws, and um, I'm going to try to offer those up as uh, screen backgrounds if you guys want to do that. Or if you want to guys want to get uh, t-shirt prints of that kind of stuff, that'd be awesome. The next mail comes from Jumbo Smalls. Anyway, uh, he says, hey Gary, I really enjoy your Let's Draws, and judged by the amount of positive over negative comments, you should keep doing them. And I am. I've got a few more that I want to record, and uh, there's one in particular that I'm really going to like doing, and I'm going to show you guys very soon. Oh, by the way, if everybody guessed um, Paul Soares Jr. and a Spy Chicken on that on that uh, one Let's Draw that I had everybody guess, uh, well, you were right. And I said it wasn't that hard, so... <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Uh, logo... Uh, log off 99 Right, and do you only draw people you are close to, or do you only draw people you are close to, or could you draw one of my Minecraft skin? Please reply. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, it's it's not something against you. I just don't have the I just don't have the time. <laughs> Life is busy. George zero 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 one nine writes in. Hello, Grim Gary. Just asking if I could be a guest on G and Joe's Adventures. Love your videos. Uh, we only do guests every once in a while. Uh, it's nothing against you guys. Uh, it's just that behind the scenes, it's very difficult to get Joe to sit down and concentrate on doing the video in the first place. So, <laughs> uh, my, you know, I love him to death, but <laughs> he is still a child. So. <laughs> um yeah n no guests unless i uh, unless i know them and everything like that all right but thank you for asking and thank you for watching uh mini harris 2468 uh asks i'm sorry if you've already thought of this but could you speed draw a tribute to kiara by drawing her avatar keep up the good work anyway that is a good idea um if you have been watching in the past month or so uh, we had one of our lag in the late night uh, moderators uh, pass away due to a car accident, and um, we did a tribute video, uh, tribute video to her. Uh, but that's a good idea. Um, we did do her avatar face on the inside of the memorial, and uh, we all miss her, and it was very sad and tragic. All right, uh, next person writing is Bumblebee ninety six. That is a very nice thing you're doing with him, meaning Joe, I'm presuming. And I love you for that. You're one of the nicest people on YouTube. I don't think anyone else could would have done that. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a great thing. I love doing the videos with Joe. Um, as I was just saying, he, he is still a child, so getting him to coordinate and focus on doing the videos sometimes is hard. But he's very excited to do the videos just that he gets overly excited, and sometimes he even wants to give out a little bit too much information about himself, and I have to kind of stop him, and or I have to cut it out of the video, um, so it's it's kind of funny just sometimes, <laughs> in the background scene that you guys don't see, <laughs> um, it's still, we're still a regular family, but yes, uh, it, it's been great doing the Gene Joe videos, and we've been collecting part of the, the proceeds that we've been earning are actually going to Autism Speaks. Um, last month, uh, by my calculations of the views that we got, um, it's looking about $15. So let's try to get more views going, um, uh, for all the videos and maybe uh, I'll just count up all the videos and we'll donate even more. Let's see. I love all your videos. I like your adding speed art. You are a really good artist. Keep up the videos. Lord Nikon. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Uh, it was good meeting you, uh, and I think we did a little live uh, stream a few weeks back. That was pretty fun. Uh, Flames fan writes, fan mail. I think it's awesome what you're doing for Joe. I have so much respect for you because my little brother is autistic too, and some days it's not easy for me. Uh, and for you to take time and do this for Joe is just awesome. Keep G and Joe's adventures coming. Sincerely person's name. <laughs> Thank you very much, Flames fan, and we are going to keep them coming. In fact, we're going to be uh, shooting some more of the G&Joes, and Joe's, and you'll see those coming soon as we journey to the end. And the last one I got for this round is Men for Job, who's been with us for quite a while. 
uh, and a good con- and he makes a lot of comments and you're awesome. Uh, he writes, uh, "What's your favorite cartoon and why? And if space breaks down, does time still go on?" As for the first one. I'm gonna have to say, if you want to go like back to classic um, American TV, then <clears throat> that was probably the Dragon's Lair cartoon that was out in the '80s when I was uh, still a young lad. Um, and as far as the second question, if ta- if space breaks down, does time still go on? No, because space and time are the same. So hope that it helps you, and take care, everybody.